This is a story all about how my life got flipped upside down. Now, let me just take a minute, just sit right there. I'll tell you how I got the subscription box a little bit earlier to be able to do this unboxing. <laughs> What's going on? My name is Mark and this is Men Who Bullet. It's a channel all about having fun with stationery, bullet journaling, work productivity, all of the fun stuff. And as you know, I'm a huge fan of Archer and Olive. I have a crazy collection of all of their things and they asked me if I wanted to be a part of this new subscription box release. And I wasn't gonna say no to it, so they sent it ahead of time. This is legit, I can't even lie about it because the box is sealed. My very first time opening this thing up and taking a look at what's inside. I don't even know what to expect. After that last one, I didn't have the most rave reviews. I know everyone kind of felt differently about it, um, but the team was like, I think you're really gonna like this one, Mark. So we're gonna unbox the whole thing right now. After that last Valentine's Day box, I realized that these are now self-sealed boxes, whereas before they just kind of flapped open. So now I know to just open it from the bottom and open the whole thing up. So let's go ahead. Uh, the front of it, let's chat what it says here. It says, gather your blanket and pack your favorite lunch. Bring your supplies to a special spot that brings you happiness as we enjoy a charming picnic. So picnic theme for this March box. Let's see what is inside this. Holy moly, what do we got? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Looks like seven items inside of here, all flipped over. Let me just give you a little peek inside that box right there. All right, we got stuff. So let's start with these little ones. Don't know what they are, but let's see what it says. These are a dock grid notebook, 112 dock grid pages. Oh, it's like a little one. We need a blade to open this thing up. Actually, let's stay on brand and use the little craft scissors that we have here. I can see that there's a pattern on this one, but it's hard to see because it's so little. So let's open this together. See what it looks like, ready? Ooh, look at this. All right, we do. We got a little pocket sized notebook here. This is printed canvas. So this is uh, something that we saw inside of that Valentine's Day box actually, right? So it is not uh, linen or maybe it's printed linen or wax linen. I'm not exactly sure the name of the material, uh, but it's a little guy. We've got little prints here on the front. Got this very green theme going on, I think it is. So let's see what we got going on. Oh, look at that inside of there. We got shiny paper inside, which was very nice. And then dot grid all the way through. We got a little page holder here with this whole color theme. So this is gonna be uh, the color themes, I guess. I don't know what to tell you. I, uh, we're starting to see it already. So a little A6-y guy here for your pocket. Like that, like this little dot grid notebook. All right, now let's go over here for this one here. So this says set of two storage crates, portable, stackable, collapsible. <laughs> what? Oh my goodness, is this gonna hold acrylographs? Get out of here, get out of here. <laughs> oh my gosh, they're little tiny crates, get out. This is the cutest damn thing I've ever seen before. <laughs> oh my goodness, it all snaps together. And I got a little crate here that I wanna put all my things inside of. Oh my goodness. <laughs> and there's two of them inside of here. So that is awesome. So you can uh, break them down or build them up however you want to. Oh my gosh, this thing is so freaking adorable. We have Archer and Olive's logo here on the front here. So um, you can sit it on your shelf like this. You can sit on the side. I'm gonna keep these here because I feel like I wanna put things inside of here like as we're going through. Oh my goodness, that is the most adorable thing. And look. You can stack them. You know what I was thinking? You think acrylographs would fit in here? I know the calligraphs are too long. Let's let's see. Just grab a little handful from my collection. Oh, hello. All right, so they fit diagonally inside of here. I wish that they would have fit straight back, but you know what? I'll I will diagonal it up and add to here. If I want to take some little pens with me anywhere, boom, done. This is pretty, pretty awesome. I love this too. So that you could stick it in here like this, maybe in the back. That's so cool. <laughs> All right, next thing inside of here, little thing here. This is tiny 
Picnic in a Box set of die cut stickers. Okay. I've been liking a lot of their stickers recently. This is a big box for stickers though. Oh my gosh, it's another little bit. It's a little container. <laughs> oh my goodness, get out of here. There's gonna be so many little like basket things all over the place. It's like a basket box. <laughs> all right, we'll open this up. Uh, so inside of here we have, oh, a little charcuterie board. That's super nice. Let's get two of those. We have uh, two of these little chalices here. We have two little like mint strawberry lemonades going on. We have a little ladybug and a flower. And then two little strawberry baskets, which maybe goes along with like this whole like strawberry basket thing. Um, oh my gosh, that is, I don't have other words than like cute. Like that's just a, that's, look, it's a little basket. <laughs> I'm gonna put the basket in the basket. We're gonna do a uh, basket inception right now. There we go. All right, next one that we have here set of wooden icon stamps. Ooh, I actually have my two other stamp sets here uh, that we had from Archer and Olive from um, past boxes and past releases. And those were all letters, um, right? We had cursive ones and then we had the print ones last time too. So let's go ahead and open this up. All right, so same general design. So we've got the little wooden box here. Oh. And then all the little icons that we saw. So um, this little pattern right here is on the book. And then all of the little stickers that we got, a ladybug, a leaf, two leaves, two flowers, and a strawberry. And then I think there's a little ink pad in here too. Look at that little guy. I love that they're thinking of everything. Not only are you gonna have the stamps, but now if you're not a person who has used a lot of stamps or anything in the past, now you also have a nice ink pad to go along with that. So let's go ahead and also, sorry, I can't help it, I'm a big dork. Let's put our stamps in our basket. Everything fits in our basket. <laughs> All right, so the next thing inside of here are gonna be color graph pens. I'm not even gonna say it because I'm not gonna say it. I'm just not gonna say it. I'm not gonna say it. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five uh, colors that we have here. I can't really tell the difference between two of these. They almost look the same to me, but um, you know, colors that you got going on. I can't tell you color names because they're not on the fans, uh, but we'll go ahead and swatch these and see what they look like. So we got those, those are gonna join our little notebook over here in our basket, two baskets. All right, so this next thing, ooh. Oh wait, there's two things. There's two things. What should we look at first? Let's, let's save the notebook for last. Let's look at this thing. Solar scrap paper, what? Wait to open, please see back information. Oh, okay. Please do not open until you're ready to use. The light will expose the paper and cause it to not work properly. Okay, this is very interesting. Step one, gather your items and arrange them on a piece of solar paper out of reach of the sun. Place an acrylic sheet on top to flatten and hold your items to the solar paper. You may need to remove the protective liner from the acrylic sheet. Bring your solar paper outside and place it in direct sunlight for two to five minutes. Place your solar paper in a water bath for one to five minutes. Lay your solar paper flat on an absorbent area and allow it to dry completely. Step six, use your new art as scrap paper in your journal. Okay. Um, well, I can't open it to show it to you because it's secret and it, right now it's cloudy outside. So I'll have to wait to a sunny day to try this out. All right, the last thing here. Look at this big old fat notebook. I love it. I love a big notebook. All right, 160 dot grid. Looks like B5 to me. Looks like B5 to me. And dot grid, because that's really important. So for anyone who's like, I've been dying for a B5 or to try one, let me tell you, I was unsure about B5 until I started to use it. And then I used it, and then it took me through an entire year of bullet journaling, January to December, which is pretty amazing. I'm really a fan of this little motif that's going on here. All right, we're gonna open this up together. Ready? Are we ready? Oh. 
Is that embroidered on here? Holy hell. This is freaking cool. All right, so you have a faux leather cover and an embroidered strawberry leaf with little like flowers and two ladybugs on it. How in the hell do you embroider a notebook? Oh gosh, look at that. Nice and shiny, loving that. And then dot grid all the way through. They're colored tassel to match everything up here. That is cool as hell. I've never ever seen anything like this before. Like, get out of here, right? Oh, that is beautiful. Oh my goodness, they're always giving us new stuff to love, right? This is pretty neat. All right, and the last thing we're gonna have in here is a little extra something to nibble on. So let's go ahead and open this up. Ah, there are the washi tapes. We knew we were missing them the whole time. <laughs> All right, so let's go ahead and open these up. Oh, I can never open this package the right way. <laughs> let's check out what we have. So we have four washi tapes here. We have one that's gonna have um, like the picnic theme on it here with those flowers similar to the notebook. We're also going to have a washi tape that has the ladybugs and some of those strawberry vines on it similar to the notebook, other notebook. <laughs> We've got some flowers and some strawberries here, very picnic-y. And then we also have this similar to that stamp. So loving the consistency, of course, of the washi tapes as always from them. They've always got something going on here. And then also inside of here is going to be creative affirmations. So these are going to be little affirmation cards that you can grab. This reminds me a lot of my best friend. His mom always had a little affirmation card to the front door. So every time you came or you went, you would pick up one kind of before you went. I always really appreciated that. So let's see, I approve of my art. My mind is free to go wild. My art is authentic to me. I am confident in my self-expression. So these are really nice ones that you can do. Just grab every now and again and be like, yeah, you know what? You're right. I am these things, these things are fun. I am a visual storyteller. That is everything. So I gotta say, this is a very cool box. This is a very usable box. This is a very functional box. I mean, there's boxes and boxes, literally boxes and boxes. <laughs> so this is awesome. I will have all of the links for you for this down below. Uh, as we get into this, it's been pretty amazing doing the sneak peeks for this one because Everything is just so neat. And I gotta tell you that um, this box makes me super happy. This is this is a nice little refresh, right, to things. I felt like we were kind of doing the same thing, even though there's like little bits of cool things every now and again, like this is really awesome, these are neat. I'm gonna stop now, cause I'm really excited and I wanna play with all my stuff. So as always, appreciate you hanging out and uh, let me know down in the comments below, is this box for you? Do you think this stuff is for you? I have a feeling that a lot of people are gonna say yes. I'll talk to you all soon, see ya.